Ram Ram World Razor, Sabina and Roger here. Let's watch learnings from Ramayan insights into Tavasmi book. Hmm. Um, this is the first time we cover the channel string here. I'm not familiar with it with the channel at all. Roger is though, I think. I came across it a little bit and I absolutely, yeah, love the quality and his mm -hmm. content. It looks very, yeah, fascinating. So looking forward to this. Sweet. <laughs> uh, this, by the way, was a request by World Razor Takua. Mm -hmm. If you love the Ramayan, if you love Indian history, hit that like button, mm -hmm. subscribe and enjoy. To address the understanding of different people from different cultures from time to time, different authors and poets have written different versions of Ramayana. Mm -hmm. Recently, there is a book on Ramayana called Tavasmi, which has been honored by Vice President of India. The book is mm -hmm. recently gaining a lot of traction. And today we have the author of this book, Sri Rama Chakragar Garu. Mm -hmm. And this book, Tavasmi, as the author says, is based on the Valmiki Ramayana, which is the root and the most authentic version of Ramayana. Mm -hmm. Let's travel to Tavasmi. Mm -hmm. Namaskaram, Sri Rama Chakragar Garu. Namaskaram, Andi. What is the uniqueness of this book, Tavasmi? See, the name itself is uh, slightly unique. Tavasmi. Mm -hmm. Tava Asmi. Mm -hmm. I belong to you. Wow. When I say I belong to you, we are establishing a connectedness. Yeah. It is at multiple levels. Mm. Before going to the uniqueness, let us understand who gave us this name. Mm. You know, in Ramayana, Valmiki Ramayana, mm. there is an instance in the Yuddha Khanda mm. where uh, Vibhishana leaves his brother mm. Ravana and comes to the side of Rama. He along with four of his uh, eights mm. seeking surrender. Yeah. At that time, all uh, the Vanara army, the army generals and everybody suggests Rama that mm -hmm. no don't accept because this is not an appropriate time and he is not a right person to be accepted into our group. Yeah. At that moment uh, Rama says Sakrideva prapannaya tavasmi iti chayachate abhayam sarvabhutebhyo dadamyetat vratam mama mm -hmm. Sakrideva prapannaya tavasmi mm -hmm. Rama I belong to you if yeah. somebody comes to me by saying Rama I belongs to you it mm. doesn't matter who mm. it is. I'm going to offer my protection to him. Okay. Even if he comes with a friendly disposition. As a friend, I can go to somebody. Yeah. But I can be an enemy. Mm. But I can just paint myself as a friend. Yeah. And then go. Rama is saying, even if somebody mm. comes to me with a friendly disposition, mm. even then I will protect him. Oh. And this protection, I will take it as Vratam. Mm. See, what is the difference between Vratam and the normal life? During normal life, we are very casual. But yeah. when we follow some vratam, we do it with utmost dedication. Yeah. So he is saying, if somebody seeks my protection, mm. I will protect him as my vratam, topmost priority. Wow. So hmm. then Rama said, Tavasmi. Uh -huh. So this Tavasmi word was so beautiful yeah. that uh, we got so much connected to it. When the book came out, mm. we don't know what name to be given to this. Mm. So then we decided uh, there should be some good name which captures the essence of Ravana. Yeah. Hmm. Then this... Tavasmi word, which says, I and you are connected. Mm. So if you see, this is a so norm of life. Mm. Whether you talk about it's spiritual awesome. realm or mm. the materialistic realm, mm. when you see this connectedness, mm. then only we will be able to live a harmonious life. Mm -hmm. For example, let us take spiritual realm. Mm. Unless we get connected to the God inside us or the God who is all pervading, mm. you know, we cannot surrender ourselves True. to the God. Mm. Yes. So by understanding, I belong to you, mm. hey Bhagwan, mm. mm. you become a true devotee, yeah. a selfless devotee, I love and it. start oh, yeah. doing some service. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This Great. is a spiritual realm. Yeah. When you go to the materialistic realm, when I connect, get connected to yourself, we can just you know form a harmonious society. Mm. Now what is happening in the name of service? We see a yeah. lot of conversions yes. happening. Yeah. Mm. See, I am seeing only two things: yeah. serve to convert mm. or convert to serve. Yeah. <laughs> So you serve people and convert them into your faith. Mm. Hmm. Or you tell them, mm. first you convert, then I will serve you. Yes, that's what yeah. is happening. The reason Tragic. is you are not getting connected. You just yes. want your faith to be there and rest everything else is <laughs> yeah. wrong. <laughs> if you find it. this connectedness, oh, automatically there will be a society which is more harmonious, peaceful, joyful to learn. So mm -hmm. this name Tavasmi is uh, encapsulating both the spiritual realm and the materialistic realm. Mm. And uh, I, I think that's the essence of life. Correct. That's why mm -hmm. we named it as Tavasmi. There's so much to it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I think the book label is also has a, you have designed it in a specific way. Yeah. There are two things which I can speak. One, the mm. cover page. Mm. 
there is a meaning to it mm. and the uniqueness of this book how is it different from different uh, ramayanas that are available mm. in the society now mm. yeah so mm. coming to the first point mm. so what we wanted to convey here is mm. there is a path established to us mm. through our preceptors yes. they are the rushis mm. the sages yeah. you know our gurus mm-hmm. they have done lot of research mm. they have dedicated their life to it and they have given us a wonderful path mm. all that we have to do is strictly follow the mm-hmm. path mm. let the journey be yours mm. but let the path be Yeah. given by our elders if you want to find out in any another path mm. definitely first find out what is said in this path yeah. then mm. you can find out the shortcuts all those things wow. <laughs> and the role of the father here is mm. he is the teacher mm. and the role of the daughter is the student School. papa the girl is named as tavasmi in this book okay mm. so mm. what we thought was there are so many ramayanas uh, which are mm. there mm. as a commentary yeah but we don't want this to be part of a commentary mm. we want it to be a discussion because mm. when we discuss lot of things will evolve correct <laughs> in uh, what do you say discourses and all it is one side communication yes one side yeah. so this daughter tavasmi mm. is bold enough mm. to ask every single question that a common man gets mm. and father mm. playing the role of a teacher mm. you know he will try to clarify everything authentically not oh, random man. what he feels yes based on ramayana or based on bhagavad gita or based on what our elders have said he will that. try to give a justification Perfect. or a, an answer mm. why this is like this why this could have been done like this or all mm-hmm. those so one the meaning of this cover page is mm. there is a path yeah catch hold of a teacher mm. and have a safe journey yeah. mm. definitely there is something called bhagavan the sun mm. the mm. brahma yeah. so mm. you can reach him definitely mm. in that path mm. but don't get diverted yeah. and uh, to indicate the rushis and the vedas we have got four birds yeah yeah flying hmm. they are wow. re- representing four vedas hmm. on the left side hmm. and the seven sapta rushis on the right, right. side hmm. so that is about the cover page yeah. hmm. but when we go to the uniqueness of this book hmm. again first one is the conversation that happens between a dad and daughter dad's name is aditya why did we name as aditya because if you see all of us need rain hmm. but hmm. where is this water brought up from from the oceans, oceans. yeah mm-hmm. can we go and drink ocean water no no but there is a sun mm. who takes that water Filter. purifies mm. them yeah. and then gives it mm. similarly guru acharya mm. there is lot of uh, you know scripture there are infinite amount of knowledge that is there yeah he will take it mm. and then he will give us whatever is required for us oh. in a way we can consume mm. so that is the role of an acharya or bhagavata we say yeah because sun we mm. named it as aditya here the mm. father so father will clarify and purify all the doubts yeah hmm. that the child has okay. so fun conversation hmm. second this is written in an analytical form hmm. for example the entire book uh, goes in 68 days okay as a hmm. bedtime conversation uh-huh. why did we choose nice. bedtime conversation because hmm. in the olden days for example i have never read ramayana as uh, a course book or something okay all that i had was my auntie or my uh, grandmother or grandfather or my father somebody during bed time they used to tell small small stories stories yeah. and that was ingrained in my uh, thoughts and heart and all those things yeah. so the best form of imbibing or best form of ingraining good qualities in children is bed time stories yeah. we want to just get that culture back so for that we chose bedtime conversations but this happens bedtime conversation between dad and daughter mm. and they will be going for a walk okay for a peaceful conversation mm. during this conversation mm. father encourages the daughter to be very very outspoken mm. no limits mm. yeah. she can ask any question that comes mm. even an atheist yeah. who doesn't believe in ramayana mm. will ask some questions related to ramayana yeah. mm-hmm. so the daughter asks such kind of questions also mm. Mm. but for that also we have given so all forms of doubts that a common man has mm. are answered in this question in authentic nice. way third Perfect. one this is prepared in the ready to use textbook form mm. ready to use textbook form means 68 days are there yeah. why did we choose 68 days because sundarakanda is having 68 sargas mm. so we chose 68 days mm. each day some part of ramayana is discussed mm. and dad will give some homework okay. or assignment or <laughs> task sheets mm. Mm. and these cool. task sheets wow. are designed in such a way that you know it helps Mm-hmm. children to develop critical thinking analytical abilities analysis research media mm-hmm. answer writing skills See, these are the most sort of skills for children now yeah. mm-hmm. so to give you an example mm-hmm. we have made 
something called as an introspection mirror hmm. what is this introspection mirror hmm. our rishis say hmm. ramayana and mahabharata are our lifelines and mirrors correct what is the purpose of a mirror you see into it and adjust and correct yourself yes hmm. so whenever you are in a problem or whenever you are in a confusion look into ramayana look into mahabharata hmm. and just try to correct hmm. you will be fitting into one or the other character hmm. always we should not assume we fit into rama's character yeah. sometimes we might fit into rama character sometimes we will fit into ravana's character also <laughs> <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so whichever it is mm. what happened mm. how are you relating yourself mm. and how best you can you know mold yourself mm. so this mirror Mm. so we thought let us create character mirrors in ramayana mm. so now we have created a mirror called mm. rama mirror mm. now we are looking into this mirror what is common between you and rama mm. what is not common between you and rama okay. what are your take away see i am not awesome. taking you take this you don't take mm. this what i am trying to tell is what is common between you and this character mm. what do you want to learn from this character adopt and adopt yeah. so right we leave it to you we leave it to you yeah. mm-hmm. we don't want to you know give you this is what is good this is what is bad this is available for us mm. yeah you see mm. same mirror is created for ravana mm. same mirror is created for uh, vibhishana mm. same mirror is created for lakshmana kaika kausalya dasaratha mm. every character is created as a mirror mm. and you you look into it mm. you identify what are their characters and you identify where do you fit in what mm. are the things that you have to take up so this is introspection mirror 1 mm. mm. and there is something called introspection mirror 2 where you compare the characters of ramayana only okay rama and ravana oh. both are kings mm. both are elder brothers mm. that's cool so how do you compare them uh-huh. vibhishana and lakshmana both are younger brothers yeah what is that common in both of them oh my god wow yeah that could be really good wow Hmm. Yeah. And the best way to imbibe something is to by this critical thinking, questioning, all those things. Hmm. Yeah. So there are a lot of such uh, pedagogical structures that we have developed, hmm. so that Ramayana can be used as a proper textbook, course book, whatever you call it as. It is much hmm. needed if you look at today's generation wow. of kids. They are reading all kinds of crap. Oh. This Harry Potter. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I don't think it has a. more entertaining stuff than ramayana also harry potter has a lot but this in has there. such valuable content <clears throat> <laughs> i feel offended <laughs> uh uh politics and whatever <laughs> is needed for the society and ramayana mahabharatam is the best of all these stories mm-hmm. i can imagine how much is there inside the book and i feel that this is very much needed for the kids so the vice president of india shri man venkai naidu garu has launched this book on november 6 2020 it's just wow. amazing we are thankful mm-hmm. to him because you know mm-hmm. from a modest background mm-hmm. without any resistance without any you know whole heartedly released it and encouraged us wow and uh, he has given us a direction to get it in telugu also mm-hmm. the, the local languages also yeah the regional languages for that matter i i should not call them as regional languages i should call all the languages are national languages yes mm-hmm. we thank uh, venkai naidu garu for that yeah, yeah. great Hmm. and the book has found a lot of sales in the market yeah it has reached uh, all the continents yay hey yeah let's get it yay the problem is hmm. i think hmm. in our society hmm. we feel we are complacent hmm. for example let me give you an example hmm. uh, haldi they might hmm. feel they the know it yeah. all yeah. we use it daily hmm. in our all our uh, household activities and it, it is used as antibiotic and all somebody else is filing a patent <laughs> and then then suddenly we realize uh, this guy is uh, yeah. filing a patent uh, which is our knowledge which is our traditional knowledge and then we go on fight yeah so something which is westernized we accept it so easily that is what is happening mm-hmm. so when i say ramayana the resistance mm-hmm. now we are facing is we know ramayana yeah when i talk mm-hmm. to a kid when i talk to a parent when i talk to a school uh, principal or anybody they say what is there in ramayana we know that mm-hmm. it's a great book we need not follow all these books mm-hmm. we know all of us know ramayana yeah the problem is the essence is lost Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ramanuja Acharya has gone 18 times to his teacher okay. to get the essence of a mantra, Astakshiri mantra and Charma Sloka. Okay. But after 18 times, mm. the guru tells, "I am telling you this name. Mm. Don't reveal it outside." Okay. Then uh, he will go outside and he will see people, the common people. They will ask Ramanuja, "For a person like you who is a great scholar, it took 18 times to approach a guru. But when will we get liberated?" Mm. Mm-hmm. then ramanuja immediately give the mantra to everybody yeah this uh, the teacher will come to know mm. and he will tell hey ramanuja i told you not to reveal the name but why did you do so 
then ramanuja will tell guru uh, acharya you told that if somebody gets to know this mantra or the meaning of this mantra they will get liberated right hmm. so now all of them got liberated hmm. then acharya says hmm. yeah they all will get liberated but hmm. because you have violated your teacher's words hmm. you will go to hell hmm. he uh-uh. says for the sake of everybody hmm. i am single person who is going to hell wow which is okay Ah. that is the magnanimity hmm. ah. you said from it to writing a book yeah hmm. it was a difficult phase for difficult decision also or a challenging decision for us also but this story of ramanuja has uh, inspired me hmm. what happens if i am successful in this i will make an impact on thousands of children or thousands of seekers mm-hmm. yes but if i don't succeed much hmm. in this at least i would have learned ramayana in a deeper way Wow. Yeah. So both ways it is a win and win situation. <laughs> yeah. So luckily God has not put me in such a situation where I should uh, mm. crave for money or crave for love or crave for relationships. Yeah. Everything is peacefully set up for me. Mm. Mm-hmm. Maybe I think I should exploit the situation and uh, do that. That was my inspiration. Yeah. Great, mm. great. Man. That's how it started. I also nice. see there is a big statue coming up of yeah. Ramanuja Acharya oh. here instead of uh, Vedic Academy. Where is that? Could you please talk be? about that? See Ramanuja mm. statue is a statue of equality. Yeah. So at the time when not everybody were allowed to chant mantras mm. or the names of the god or mm. so much of mm. discrimination is there mm. he stood up mm. for the cause and promoted equality. Mm. Mm. When it comes to equality it is religious equality, social equality, economic equality. In yeah. fact Ramanuja mm. embraced all sections of society mm-hmm. and made them part of temple administration yeah he divided the entire temple administration into 20 units mm. 10 he gave for vedic units mm. and 10 for non vedic units mm. and he created that economic relevance for every section of the society mm. he is a promoter of equality mm. and from my understanding not just mm. ramanuja it's it's a wonderful thing that is coming up all of us there are lot of gurus that are there lot of lot of personalities over the history that is there yes. we should have such inspirational persons as our role models and you know yes. made lot of statues and, mm. and we understand this statue of equality is not just a statue but they are developing it as a center of uh, yeah. knowledge to mm. protect the vedic knowledge mm. to promote the vedic knowledge to yeah. do research on mm. vedic knowledge there are a lot of multiple shrines uh, being built around yeah. the statue yeah it's very beautiful mm. from that point of view definitely it is an inspiration mm. what i think is uh, by looking at it we should get inspired mm. and we should also do something like that yes to promote each and every part of our tradition yeah mm-hmm. and do you think uh, mm-hmm. we find yeah, these kind of acharyas today talking about these kind of acharyas first yeah. of all we should know what is an acharya uh, what is an acharya when we say what is an acharya <laughs> then we will understand see mm. do we have good doctors mm. mm-hmm. then we should understand who is a doctor who is a doctor mm. see the problem in the society is everybody is a doctor now yeah <laughs> everybody is a teacher now yeah everybody is a lawyer now yes there okay. is a google uh, so everybody <laughs> is good. everybody is everything today yeah so mm. what is an acharya mm. the name is telling you mm. acharya means somebody who is good in knowledge mm. and he transforms that knowledge into action acharana they say okay. mm-hmm. somebody who learns mm-hmm. things and uh, who implements it properly or who practices it properly is an acharya mm. this is not mm. my definition yeah. the first shloka of ramayana itself will tell the same thing mm. the mm. first shloka of ramayana is the first verse of ramayana is here narada in this verse mm. narada is playing the role of a teacher mm. and valmiki is playing the role of a student okay so how a teacher should be mm. one mm. knowledge plus practice second good communication skills three mm. we should be silent in whatever is not required for us mm. whomever you want to compare mm. put them here yes. is he having this yeah. mm-hmm. now the question is is our education system mm. or the models that we are implementing mm. are they training the teachers in this see now teacher by be having a bd or med or something yeah. they will be certified as teachers yes but are these certified teachers so called certified teachers fulfilling these things which are bare minimum things for being no a teacher <laughs> Hmm. that is something which as a society we should question yeah okay hmm. this is about a teacher or an acharya hmm. second there are adjectives used for the student also hmm. one is humility the yeah. other is curiosity we call it as hmm. utsaham hmm. or kutuhalam hmm. and vinayam or vidheyata yeah the other i told you the other three for uh, hmm. acharya now we should see uh, how many of us hmm. fit into this kind of category yeah. and one thing for sure hmm. which we can confidently says mm. 
if this kind of teacher is there mm. and if this kind of students mm. are there mm. with these two virtues and these three virtues mm. definitely the student community will be very much successful mm. and in ramayana we have a lot of successful students so for people <laughs> to understand it better could you please tell us an instance from ramayana to mm. emphasize the teacher student relationship first and the foremost thing is let us take rama mm. when you come to mm. the teachers of rama mm. vasishta viswamitra and uh, there are agastya there are so many gurus in ramayana mm. but let us take one guru one such guru so mm. one guru i'll take as viswamitra mm. because he has showed infinite compassion on rama mm. Mm. so if you see viswamitra all through his life he has earned so much of tapo shakti mm. he has earned the entire dhanurveda he has mm. mastered the art of dhanurveda from parmashiva itself now what happened he has taken Shiva. rama mm. to the forest mm. by mentioning the reason as the yaga mm. the shedratra yaga they say six okay. nights mm. okay so initially dasaratha was very reluctant mm. to not send rama because he is his very dearest yes. son and uh, he was rama was una shodasha they say less than 16 years okay at mm. that time so dasaratha was not at all ready to send mm. at that time one acharya pitched in mm. it is vasishta okay viswamitra himself can kill all the demons mm. it is just a name sake reason that viswamitra is quoting to you mm. but he is asking rama because he wanted to prepare rama for the future yeah so please send him mm. one teacher has shed off the ignorance of the parent mm. and then dasaratha suddenly becomes enlightened and send uh-huh. uh, rama with viswamitra okay mm. lakshmana also followed mm. when viswamitra took rama he did not give it easily mm. rama is a prince yeah he is comfortable or he is having all possible luxuries mm. but viswamitra mm-hmm. made him walk in the forest oh, wow. forest he mm. did not tell in which direction they are going where are they going and how much time they will have to walk okay mm-hmm. whether it is sun whether it is uh, you know moon it doesn't matter they just walked mm. rama did not question anything yeah because rama did not question lakshmana also did not question mm. so they just follow mm. then viswamitra observed okay these people are committed mm. they are humble mm. they are not questioning they believe in teachers mm. so let mm. me give them knowledge yeah. and then the next day he told bala ati bala mm. bala ati bala are two techniques in which you can uh, conquer your sleep you know yeah. conquer your hunger mm. conquer your anxiety all you know okay. they are called as the matru vidyas okay. that means these are the roots of all vidyas bala and ati bala mm. so he told rama mm. and after that next situation came tataka mm. the challenge yeah when rama was uh, so hesitant mm. to kill tataka mm. because she is a woman i'm so lost viswamitra <laughs> said adharmam will not have gender mm. whether it is male or female adharmam is adharmam only okay. you have to eliminate it mm. so eliminate mm. the first attempt itself is on a woman mm. so he is confused mm. then viswamitra said don't think mm. she is very powerful mm. rama will convince yeah, himself eliminate. saying pitruvachana niddesha pitruvachana karana my father has told me mm. i have to follow this teacher mm. and whatever this teacher says that is my duty yeah. whether she is woman or not it doesn't matter for me my mm. teacher has said i will okay. do it yeah and then mm. he did it mm. so there viswamitra tested rama's presence of mind mm. the challenge is coming on to you okay by overpowering you mm. at that time rama was confused mm. but he used his presence of mind yeah. okay how do i break the tie mm. see in life we are also stuck in some things yes. whether i should follow mm. my teacher or something else mm. so that is when our presence of mind comes into picture right yeah. mm. rama used his presence of mind mm. and uh, you know broken his uh, doubt mm. and then attacked tataka mm. eliminated then viswamitra got convinced yeah. this guy is having good application skills also mm. and the next day he has given him entire dhanurveda okay the list of missiles the astras and shastras are also mentioned in ramayana and bhalakanda we can okay. uh, go through that yeah when we say astra mm. and shastra shastra means weapon yeah astra means missile mm. this is what we see in ramayana mm. they will take rama will take one uh, the blade of grass mm. and makes it brahmastra mm. so it's like mm. there is some technology you will press it mm. and it goes off yeah Viswamitra mm. did not teach twice. Mm. Viswamitra told these are the ast- he gave hundreds of astras and shastras. Mm. Viswamitra is giving and Rama is assimilating. Ega santa grahi desa, no? Yeah, yeah. That moment Rama assimilated everything. Okay. Rama did not ask 
can you please repeat? Mm. He did not ask that. Mm. And immediately by taking permission of Vishwamitra, he told everything to Lakshmana. Vishwamitra did not teach Lakshmana. Okay. Mm. Frankly speaking, Lakshmana will not agree if Vishwamitra teaches. Mm. You know why? Because for Lakshmana, Rama is everything. Okay. If Vishwamitra tells Lakshmana, please come and study, he will say, who are you? <laughs> for me, Rama is everything. Okay. Rama is my father, Rama is my mother, Rama is my teacher, Rama is my life. Wow. Mm. That's the kind of service uh, Lakshmana yeah, has done. Yeah. And more than Ramas, we need Lakshmanas in the current society. Correct. Yeah. Mm. So going forward, Eka Santagrahi, mm. Rama is. So you understand the curiosity and the humility Rama displayed. Yes. The kind of compassion and Acharya has displayed. Yes. Yeah. This is one instance mm. where we can understand a good student and teacher relationship. Yeah. And Rama, between mm. the classes also, mm. he used to approach teachers mm. and then clarify his doubts. That is okay. mentioned in Valmiki Ramayana. Mm. So he gave utmost importance to time. Mm. So when class break comes, now what are we doing? <laughs> Maggie packet. <laughs> yeah, Maggie. <laughs> we eat Maggie between classes. Mm. So we chit chat, we use mobile phones. Oh, Maggie? And then Rama, after uh, fulfilling the wish of Viswamitra, that means he protected the entire Yaga from uh, Maricha and Subahu Mm. and the company Mm. of them, Rama will go to Viswamitra and say, Mm. Swami, Kim Karoti. Mm. Kim Karoti means, what can I do for you? Mm. Even more. Mm. Agnapai Adushreshtha. Agnapai Munishreshtha. Munishreshta means, oh, you know, great among the sages. Yeah. Please command us. Mm. We are at your service. Mm. See, almost three days, four days he has traveled. Mm. And six nights he did not have sleep, proper mm. sleep. Mm. And after that, what will we do? We will go and sleep first. Yeah. Okay, it is finished. I will have to go and sleep. <laughs> yeah. Rama and Lakshmana did not do that. Mm. They went to Vishwamitra and asked, what can we do? Mm. Please command us. Yeah. And he is not telling, please tell us. Mm. Please command us. Command Agnapaya. Mm. That's the kind of spirit that Rama has displayed and uh, Viswamitra has uh, reciprocated towards mm. Rama. When Viswamitra was leaving Rama, I think it is in 74th or 75th Sarga of Balakanda. Mm. I love the interviewer. We don't Ooh. know his name yet, but we guess he's the one who's running the channel or mm-hmm. is the main guy. He's the main guy. Let us know his name. What's his name? <laughs> What's his name? I thought... I'll, he was so very sweet oh, and then the one yeah. he interviewed he blew me away I absolutely oh. loved him uh, I want the book yeah I want to get the book too I think that's amazing it's perfect for me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just thought it's a book made for me <laughs> Sabina has the intellect of a child so it'll be perfect <laughs> it will uh, be perfect and I want to do it too it's like a spiritual textbook that dissects the meaning yeah. and the essence and the teachings and the profound wisdom you know of the Ramayana so yeah. yeah, I think it's an absolutely incredible idea. Yeah. And the fact that it was promoted and, you know, endorsed and sponsored and released, yeah. you know, by the oh, yeah, yeah. the vice vice prime minister, mm-hmm. really promotion. Oh, we're checking on Amazon. And, oh, they don't have it here? Oh, they have Kindle. But anyway, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I loved that interview. Yeah. The, that was amazing. Yeah. The, and the man, do we know the, do we know the name of the man being interviewed? <laughs> The description string. You couldn't approve the description. <laughs> string. You got to put the put the names in there of of the people. I was so impressed by this one textbook exercise, uh, by this exercise of, you know, what do Rama and Ravana have in common? Oh yeah. It's it's just. We don't do that. Like, we don't look at that, really. Mm. You know, we have the good guy and we have the bad guy. Mm-hmm. And I know Ravana, like, lots and lots of you defended Ravana and said, mm-hmm. you know, he was a great, great devotee and, you mm-hmm. know, these and these qualities. And, yeah, but, you know, just just in general, we have the good guys and the bad guys. But what do they have in common? Mm-hmm. I love that. I mm-hmm. love it. Because then... Yeah, as lots of you mentioned too, not everything is black and white or no. there is no black and white in general. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's it's all gray. We all have virtues and non-virtues mm-hmm. within us and yeah. and not labeling and yeah. like, like this person is like this. Yeah, and then using that, like you said, using that critical thinking skill to analyze it, adjust and then see, you know, what you want to aspire to be. And then mm. also saying it it's okay to aspire to be like Rama, right? Oh, yeah. You know what I, I mean? A it's like a, a mirror, a mirror. <laughs> and then, yeah. well, of course, because we all know that Rama is like, you know, the embodiment of 
<clears throat> you know, perfect conduct and behavior. That was his role okay. as that, you know, okay. incarnation to teach, mm -hmm. you know, kind of how we're supposed to be and aspire to and have these virtues of just, mm -hmm. you know, goodness all the time. And mm -hmm. I, I found it interesting, too, that, you know, he had gurus and teachers like mm -hmm. God had, uh, you know, also had to mm -hmm. had to learn. Right. And then, uh, you know, get that wisdom and knowledge and then trust in the teacher and then displaying that, you know, perfectly. Amazing. Wonderful. Absolutely love yeah. this interview. I thought it was great. Uh, a lot of wisdom and knowledge packed in there and condensed. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, fantastic. If you liked it as much as we do, you know what to do. Let us know in the comments section uh, what really struck you mm -hmm. uh, and impacted you. Are you going to get the book? Uh, have you got it already? Let us know because, yeah, we love this idea. So yeah. thank you all so, so much for joining us. And remember, the most important thing is to raise yourself. <laughs> and raise the world. <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. And a very special thank you to our world raiser, Takua. We love you. Hmm. Peace. Peace.